the channel Science Learning Gateway. So I hope you all are doing great. In this video, we are going to discuss class 8 social science syllabus for Karnataka State Board, board students. As your exams are approaching in March, so with each and every videos, I am going to explain the question answers of the chapter so that it will be easy for you to learn and meanwhile you can revise your syllabus also. So let's start with social science, political science portion, chapter number one, meaning and importance of political science. This is a requested video. Many of you have requested me to upload the syllabus of history and political science. So with this, I have started with political science. One by one, I will try to upload the chapters of social science as as well as science so that it will be a good revision for you for your exams if you are new to my channel then do subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever I will be uploading a new video you will get the notification for that so let's start with the question answers of the chapter meaning and importance of political science first of all we have some fill in the blanks I will explain you how to learn the fill in the blanks so that it will be in your mind and in exam you can write the answer the first question is the word politics was derived from the Greek word dash. So we know that the word politics was derived from which word? It was derived from the Greek word and the Greek word is polis which means city state which means city state. Okay. Sometimes maybe the question can also be asked what is what was the meaning of the term polis. So do remember that the term polis means city state. The second question, Republic is written by. So, Republic is written by one of the great philosopher called Plato. P-L-A-T-O, Plato. Second, third question, Aristotle, who was also one of the students of Plato, he wrote a book on political science and it is called The Politics. So, just remember that Aristotle wrote a book and the name of the book was The Politics, right? From the political science word, you have to remember, it's The Politics. Next question, Cortelia. Cortelia's work relating to political science is dash. So Cortelia wrote which book? He wrote Arthashastra. Arthashastra. Break the word and you have to remember the name of the word Arthashastra. Okay. Now let's head towards the question answers. The first question answer is what is political science? As the name of the chapter is political science meaning and uh, its importance. So first of all, we should know what is political science. Political science is one of the social science. It is one of the branch of social science, right? It is one of the part of social science. Like for example, so in social science, we read about history, we read about civics, uh, we read about geography. Meanwhile, we also read about political science. So it is one of the social science dealing with and in pol political science what we read. We read about the political activities of the man right we read about the state and the government what activities are going on in the state and the government what activities are going on with the with the activities of the humans that things we read in the political science so just remember the definition that it is one of the branch of social science which deals with the political activities of the man plus it also deals with the state and the government so this is the answer for political science next question is who began the systematic study of political science so just now we in the fill in the blanks we have read that the that the politic that the word politics was derived from the greek word called polis so obviously the greeks began the systematic study of political science okay who began the systematic study of political science the greeks the greeks began the political study of the political a systematic study of the political science others they have also tried but they failed and who have tried Egyptians, Babylonians, Persians, Indians, Chinese have mentioned their ideas and thoughts about politics much earlier to Greeks, but they failed to develop as it is a systematic study. So these these people they have also tried to develop the systematic study of politics, but they failed. And after all, the Greeks have begun the systematic study of the political science. Next question is just a one word answer. Who is known as the father of the political science? Aristotle is known as the father of the political science okay aristotle don't make spelling mistake you have to remember the spelling of aristotle properly a r i s t o t l e aristotle is known as the father of the political science now let's move towards the next slide in which we are going to read question number 4 so what is question number 4 give a definition of, give a definition of political science in the first question, we have read that what is political science? That is different question. Now we are going to read that what is the definition of political science? So both the questions are different and both the answers are different. 
right so in that in this question de definition of political science we have to write that it is a study of the origin and development of the state the function of the government rights and duties of the citizen so more or less the thing is same but the answer will be different that is in that question what is political science that we have mentioned but in this we have to write the definition of the political science it is a study and origin and development it is a study it is a study of the origin and development and development of the state of the state the government the function of the government rights and duties of the citizen these things you have to remember in this question next mention any one use of studying political science means we are just reading political science we are studying political science but what are the uses of political science at least one use we have to write over there the study of political science help us to understand the need for a state good governance of the state role of the leaders people's participation so just you have if we are if we are studying political science it help us to understand what the need for a state means what is needed in the state what sh what should be the structure of the state what are the things which are needed by a state good governance of the state how the government should work in a state means it should work properly so that all the people over there they should get benefits from that the role of the leaders and people's participation we have so many leaders the thinkers the politicians what is their role Um, how can people participate in making the state a beautiful state, which should be good for everyone? Uh, the study of political science also help also helps the people to become good, responsible, cultured, and active citizen. If somebody will learn political science, they will become a good and responsible citizen, the cultured one, active one, which will help to grow their country or which will help to grow their state. The knowledge of political science contributes to the establishment of justice. peaceful progressive and a happy state also if the knowledge of political science will be there then the overall the state will be a justified state a peaceful state a progressive and a happy state so these are the uses of studying political science that the state will that uh, people can understand the need of the state the good governance of the state the role of the leaders and the people's participation participation even the people will become good cultured and the responsible citizen then the knowledge of political science will help to help the state to become a established peaceful progressive and a happy state so these are the question answers from the chapter political science basically in this chapter th that this is a very small chapter and in this chapter you have to learn what is political science the definition of political science some of the uses of polit studying political science and the small fill in the blanks which was given in the question so i will suggest you to please give a reading of the chapter once so that if any question will be asked from the center of the chapter you can give the answers for that so thank you for watching if you have not subscribed the channel do subscribe the channel for the upcoming videos and hit the bell icon so that whenever i will be uploading a new video you will get a notification for that and if you like the video then please click on the like button and share with your friends also thank